Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to what should be a really, really quick episode on uh, just fixing the bugs we had. So uh, basically we had a bug where the text wouldn't show up on this panel at the end of the game. And that was simply because my text was scaled in a, an appropriate manner. And um, basically just rescale it as long as you can see it on there. You can actually see it inside of the game. So I don't even know if you guys had this issue, but I did on my side. So. Now it is fixed, I've simply just changed the canvas around and only play with the UI, and there it is. Alright, the next one, uh, the most annoying one when you play it on the device, is that when you try to use a joystick and you go a little bit too far, it also swipes the camera. So we're going to be uh, making some modification to our camera script. So let's go ahead and open up the camera motor script. Alright, so what I was thinking about doing is adding a reference to uh, the image, not the image, direct transform. So let's do using unity engine.ui. And I know this is a quick fix, but uh, we're pretty much at that point now. And uh, once we have the unity engine.ui up here, let's go ahead and declare ourselves a public uh, rec transform that is going to be the virtual joystick space. And we're going to use that right transform to check, okay, are we clicking inside of that um, space right now? If we are, let's not acknowledge this input mouse button here, this, um, you know, this swipe. So let's go back inside of our game, I mean engine, and we are going to assign that right away. So on the camera. Uh, inside the level, so let's go in one underscore training. There is the camera motor over here. Now it takes in the virtual joystick space, so that's inside of our UI. So I'm going to go under canvas, virtual joystick container, and that's that's the one that we need. We do not need a joystick, we need the virtual joystick container. And let's put that value right here in the virtual joystick space. Okay. Now um, let's do a really quick fix on that. We're going to go back inside the camera motor. Now we're going to do something really, really weird in here. We're going to do if um, rec transform utility, so rec transform utility, that is, that is a, a static class. And then we do rectangle contain screen point. And then we're going to give it the rec transform, that is our uh, virtual joystick space. And then a screen point, that is our input dot mouse position. Now this is going to work for the um, the touch as well. So we do this and we know if we um, pretty much by doing this we know if we, we press we touch inside of the uh, rectangle basically. And um, if we do touch inside of the rectangle we're gonna do something we're just gonna do a boolean really quick. So let's go up here private bool um, is inside virtual joystick space, that's a long one, is equal to false. And if we do manage to hit that, we're gonna do is inside virtual joystick space is equal to true. Else, we're gonna do this. Okay. So um, if we do click on the, uh, the rectangle that is the virtual joystick, let's go ahead and not set the touch position. So put it inside the else statement. Now all we're going to do is take that value right here and if it is true, so if that boolean we just set is true, we're going to do while well, that boolean is no longer true, so is equal to false, and then we're going to do a return so we don't run the rest of this. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out. Hopefully everything works. I haven't really tested it before. Sorry about that. But as you can see, I'm not actually swiping. Now, did I break my swipe mechanic? No, it's still there. Okay, so that's a really good step towards having something that is playable because on the uh, device, it was not really fun. Let's go ahead and just boot that device really quick so we can take a look at the current state of our game. Okay, so I got my device plugged in. I'm going to hit Control B on the keyboard like so, and we're going to head over to the webcam scene. So, And now over to the webcam scene, this is my phone, and we now have the build. So here's our game, hopefully you can see it well. Okay, so I got an autofocus on and it's a little bit better. So as you can tell, um, this is 
our game right now and uh, this works this works let's do a training scene so I'm clicking on it now I have my joystick right here I can use and it's not actually swiping left and right I mean the camera is not swiping unless I actually go somewhere else somewhere that is not the joystick so let's try with the camera scene now this one's a little bit harder to do and this one is not moving at all I think it has to do because I fixed my timer but I forgot to do um, to relink my virtual joystick let me go do that really quickly <laughs> sorry about that uh, so if you get that kind of error that that is probably because you forgot to reassign your joystick somewhere so under my player yep it says none over here virtual joystick so I'm just going to go really quickly put that in there and we should be good to go now is move joystick okay it is container of that okay same thing for my boost tutorial most likely yep okay and then quickly test again by hitting control B on the keyboard oh oh see I get this kind of error now where it does swipe here okay my bad so um, I get this error down here because I didn't actually assign the 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 actual rec transform to that very scene so again let's go back in the game and um, for camera tutorial that's the second scene let's go under what is it the main camera the main camera needs to have this virtual joystick space assigned in order for this uh, fix to work so we're gonna go under canvas, find the virtual joystick container and just paste it in there. Same thing for the boost tutorial. We are going to go under main camera, find the virtual joystick container and then paste. Okay, so we only got three scenes now, that isn't too bad. Um, but for the future scenes, a good thing is that we're gonna be simply copying this over to the next scene and they're gonna keep the same reference. So we should be done with fixing this, everything should be really easy to transfer to another scene but uh, in case you already made a lot of scene you're gonna have to go through every single one of them and do that maybe even make a prefab that would maybe help you okay so that's the last build we just made let's see the pause menu works here the uh, virtual joystick does not allow you to swipe let's move over to another map so say the second one the camera map and sorry about the focus, it's not really good. Nope, snapshot from Andrew, great. Um, now let's actually try pressing on the pause menu. So the pause menu does not work there, so we do have some errors with our reference somewhere. Let's fix that, uh, let's fix that afterward. And um, I just failed really bad. Okay, now let's actually complete this one because I need to test out the third level as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna put this towards my face so I can actually see. Okay, so here we go. Um, we got the text going on, we got the uh, congratulation, everything. Now, main menu doesn't work. Just pressing on buttons doesn't work in this one, and that's kind of annoying. I need to go see what is going on with that. Okay, so on my end, I had another issue where my button would not. Uh, do anything and as you can tell they're pretty much they don't have any more function in there so I got to go on them and fix them one by one so that's gonna be really annoying but I still have to do it so pause button right here we need to find the um, who's taking care of the pause it's most likely the level manager so let me just open up that script really quick pause game toggle pause menu okay so here it is now let me go fix that real quick, I'm going to go under pause button, find my level manager in there. And then under level manager there is a function called toggle pause menu. So basically my buttons were not working anymore so that pretty, that pretty much just means that my reference over here, my function were not being called. And as we can see they were really not being called because there's nothing in there. Now as for the boost, that's probably on the player itself, I believe, so let's put player and then motor boost. Okay, so we fixed these two. Now hopefully we haven't broken anything inside of that, oh, we did. Okay, so under the pause menu I need to fix the main menu button, the resume button and also the restart button. All of them should be under level manager, I believe. 
So I'm going to take this. This is the main menu button. So to menu. Now the resume. Um, as for the resume, I think I can only put toggle pause menu. And then finally restart. That would be restart level. Okay, so these are fixed. Let's move over to the boost and do the exact same thing. So under canvas, my pause button is level manager, toggle pause menu. My pause menu has the main menu button, which points forward a function called to menu. Then resume button is the exact same thing as the pause button himself. So that is toggle pause. Finally restart is restart level. Okay, oh, and finally boost. Let's not forget about boost. Boost is under player and it is a function called boost. All right, guys, that should pretty much be the final build, hopefully. And let's move over to the webcam. Now with the good focus, here we go. That's our, our levels. The first one we know it works. The second one now has a pause menu that works. Now probably has a boost that works as well, yes. And let's complete this one for real this time. Oh my god, okay, never mind. Okay, I forgot these button at the end. So we've got the pause menu button working. Now there is the uh, end menu buttons that needs to work as well. So once more, we're going to return to the scene and fix our canvas a bit. Now that might not even be the case for you. It maybe everything works, but in my case, um, I have to redo all of these because I've changed my canvas a little bit, and at one point, it got corrupted. So, uh, main menu buttons return us to the main menu. The restart button returns us to this very level. So there is a function called restart level. Okay. Good. Finally, boost. And now, hopefully, this is going to be the last time we have to build this. So main menu button, level manager, main menu, and finally restart button goes to the restart level function. I'm going to save, once more hit control B on the keyboard for build. Okay, so here's my final build. Um, we've tried this one, we're pretty sure that it works now. Let's go ahead and try the boost scene. So main menu works. Boost button seems to work as well. Does this work? Yes, it does. And finally, let's boot it once more. Restart works as well, I believe. Yep, we can see the particle. Oh, never mind. I'm not pointing this sort of the camera. My bad. But everything seems to work on this one as well. And I am simply going to complete the level. And then finally do one more test, which is just buying a ball in the shop, something of the sort. Okay, so main menu did work here. We got all our currency and we already unlocked some items. So let's buy this one. And as you can tell, everything seems to be working just fine in this game. Um, sorry about the bad quality of the camera. I don't know how to record something inside of a webcam uh, when it's on my phone. It's a little bit annoying. But um, anyway, we've got this out of the way now. We pretty much fixed all the big issues that were stopping our game from being fun or even playable. So now we can go back to making level, but that's not really the um, main focus for me right now the channel. I'd like to do some more third person uh, tower defense tutorials. So I'll be just taking it easy from now on on this series. And so I know I've been spamming you quite a lot with these videos, but um, we're almost over. We just got to make some more level to make it just to make some content. But, um, however, I will be posting uh, videos on this game really soon. Videos, some kind of bonus videos about, say, the accelerometer. So instead of using the virtual joystick, we can actually tilt the phone and that's going to work as well. And then there were some other requests that people wanted me to do. So I will be doing that as a, some kind of bonus video. But this series is pretty much, pretty much over. We just need to put some content and also then... Um, publish it to the Google Play. So guys, uh, once more, if you like this video, please leave me a like, really appreciate that. If you have any qu question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. You can also use the Facebook page, which is also in the comment section below. Uh, I mean, description.
And uh, finally, you can subscribe for more. And the next series is going to be about a multiplayer. But just before that, I'm doing a quick chess game. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, you can subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.